G'day everyone, it's Kira Lee here. Um, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I will be doing a bit of a fabric haul slash plans for my next cosplay, what I'm going to be using. Woo! So, uh, my next character that I will be doing is from one of my favourite series. It was my first anime that I ever watched and um, one of the first mangas that I actually read. And that is, of course, Card Captors. Um, and I will be doing Sakura. Um, there was, there's been the new release because I think it's what 20 years since it came out and there's been a new um, new card captain series that's come out in manga and it's gonna be an anime <laughs> I'm very excited about this. <laughs> so I saw some of the artwork that's coming out and I absolutely love this particular one. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I love clamp. Love, 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 love clamp. So let's get cracking to it. I want to show you these beautiful fabrics. I bought two fabrics and the rest of it I'm going to try and use for my stash. Some of the fabrics that I'm going to be using I actually got from my auntie who was cleaning out her house and had all these fabrics. She's like, here Ali, take it. And I was like, okay. So the very first fabric that I bought, um, as soon as I was like, I saw the picture, I was like, <gasps> I need to cosplay that. Um, was this beautiful pink taffeta. It's got quite a sheen on it because there's some light coming in from outside. Um, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. I am going to be using this for the petticoat part of the dress. Um, and a whole lot of ruffles slash box pleats. Probably more ruffles. I need to work it out how I'm going to do that. I love taffeta. I have a strange relationship with taffeta. But the next fabric um, is this beautiful chiffon. Um, I've used it before in a teal colour and it's just it's just gorgeous. It's got this beautiful sheen to it which is quite um, iodised and it kind of reminds me of like really beautiful petals which kind of plays into the theme of, of the dress itself. For the, the underlay because the chiffon is a little bit uh, see-through and <laughs> Well, Sakura isn't exactly an R-rated manga, unless you read some fan fiction of it. <laughs> it's a shaunting um, with a kind of satin back, which is really nice. Um, there isn't a lot of it, but I don't need a lot of it. I'm very excited to use that one. I've also got this beautiful gold pleather that I've got left over from when I did Asuka. It will look really beautiful with the white and the pink. Um, it will come up really, really nice. I know that I can work with it. It's not absolutely pleasant to work with, um, but when you do work with it and you work with it correctly, it's beautiful. I have found extra embroidery thread, which is an absolute win uh, that I used with this and I'll be using with it again to give it a really nice finish. Now some extra material that I have just in case I need to do some lining or there's little bits and pieces that I need to do inside the fabric and I don't want to you know waste fabric on something that I don't need to. I have this um, white satin, just plain white satin. It's about two meters long and I've also got some of this which is well, some a lot of this. This I will be using um, as in part of the skirt possibly, not sure. Yeah, so it's a baby satin, so it's really, really soft. There's one other thing that I wanted to share with you, which wasn't, um, it's not a fabric, uh, but I love this stuff. I haven't tried it with, with fabric yet. Um, I've tried it in resin and I've tried it on leather shoes and it came out beautifully. It's actually this, it's a high flow acrylic paint. Um, and this sort you can actually get from Riot Craft and Arts and Craft if you live in Australia. It's just beautiful to work with in terms of, of a paint. It, because of um, the consistency of it, it acts sort of like a, a like a, an ink almost rather than a paint pink. So I plan on using that or at least trying it out um, because I am curious more than anything else on the gradient dye effects that are within this dress. So guys, that's everything for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I love watching people take fabric and then making it into something and like seeing the fabric before and then what it turns into. I do plan on trying to do a vlog in regards to how I'm making this um, dress. It is going to be taking me quite some time, but 
Um, maybe I'll do it in like parts or something like that. Let me know if you're interested in that. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, until next time, see you later.